damn it! Swear jar! The swear jar is all the money we have to send you to college, so you should be happy I curse. Well, if you can curse, then we all can curse. Is that what you want? For the next minute only, you can curse. Oh, good, you guys. The idea was, if I put in my own money, and then I went to the fans and said, hey, I can't give you financial stake in the film, that's illegal still, but if I sell you something you would like, uh, early release of the soundtrack, a t-shirt, a ticket to this premiere, a ticket to a Q&A in your city, um, I'll do your outgoing voicemail message, I'll propose to your wife for you. I mean, we literally, this whole Chinese food uh, menu list of anything and everything you can think of, I'll do it. What I love about the James Avery story, may he rest in peace, is that not only did he do me a favor and do a cameo in the film, but he gets a giant laugh with a line that he improv. I met him once very, very briefly, and I'm such a big fan of his work, and it's very sad that he had to leave this world. He's an amazing actor, and I look up to him so much, but I'm so happy that he got to be in this film before he passed. I'm sure you're too young for Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, no. No? No, I know the whole rap, man. Let's hear some of it. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing and relaxing all cool. I was shooting some b-ball outside of school when a couple of guys, they were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got one little fight, my mom got scared. She said, you move with your auntie and uncle in Bel-Air. I'm scared. I know, I want you to jump in. I'm gonna be here for you. When we were kids, my brother and I used to pretend that we were heroes, the only ones who could save the day.